Okay, so here is our um, back, our bottom. Sorry, it has been pinned into place on the left side, in the back center, and on the right side. There's no pins in the front because this is where the cushion is going to go in. We matched our markers on the sides and we matched our markers in the center back. Now I'm going to turn this around so the back is now facing me. What you're going to see is that the back is longer than the piece that it's going on, which is the top. And that you will see that on both sides of center. We're going to take a release pleat in the back, and here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go right up to where the release pleat was in the flat. We can put a pin there, but basically we're going to take another release pleat just on the corner side of that. So these two are going to line up one next to the other, but they won't be on top of each other. This will reduce the bulk and it'll spread out the ease of the um, of the corner there where it's got to slip over the chair. So I'll show you that on this side. Um, here is our release pleat in the top. So we're just going to go right up to that. You can put a pin there if you want. I'm just going to put my finger there to hold it. And this is going to come right over, pull it tight from the center so it's nice and flat. And there is my, my new release plate on the bottom. So that'll go there. We'll do that in all, uh, in both uh, corners of the flap. This is just, sorry, of the back. This is just on the back side of the back. Um, I'm going to pin it in place, baste it, and then I'll show you what that all looks like.